This is Maestro on behalf of the Boxing Voice. I'm here with Eddie Hearn, uh, ahead of Canelo Bivo Fight Week. Eddie, real quick, the impact of a fight like this at the Garden versus the impact of what we saw last week at Madison Square Garden, h- how do you compare the two venues as big fight venues? Well, they're both very different. I mean, look, T-Mobile doesn't have the history and the legacy of Madison Square Garden, but we're in Las Vegas. Um, and there's something about a Canelo Cinco de Mayo fight in Las Vegas that's very special. For me, the Garden will always be iconic, you know, a, a, an incredible arena in the middle of New York City. Um, and you get to see great events like last week. So both very special arenas and obviously doing them back to back in fights like this is a dream come true. So as you know, Canelo went up to 175 already. He's got that experience of fighting a bigger man in Kovalev. What are your thoughts on the challenge of Bivol in comparison to the initial challenge of going up in weight? This is a much more difficult fight than Kovalev. You know, Kovalev was not living the life. Kovalev was a faded fighter. And Kovalev was winning the fight until Canelo Alvarez knocked him out. Bivol is young. He's fresh. He's got great feet. He's never been damaged. He's lived the life. He's a much tougher test at this stage than Sergei Kovalev was. But I also believe that Canelo is better than he was against Kovalev. So I look in Dmitry Bivol's eyes, I see an ice-cold man that's coming to change his life and create legacy. And I love the fight because you've got two guys that are literally here for the history books. And I think this is a very dangerous fight for Canelo. I'd like to pick off where I heard you um, describing kind of Matchroom's global presence in the sport. This is a fight between a Russian and a Mexican being promoted by a UK promoter in the United States of America. Initially, Matchroom was seen as a UK-based promotion. I think now it's a global promotion. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? There's no other global promotional company in boxing. You know, top rank, they might do one event in the UK, co-promotion now and again, but they're only in the US. Um, PBC, only in the US. Who else out there? I mean, Golden Boy, only in the US. Frank Warren, only in the UK. Like, I'm the only promoter that's signing significant TV deals all around the world and staging mega fights all around the world. I'm not looking for a pack on the back. I'm just telling you facts. And I'm the one who's young and hungry, and I'm the one that's going to take over all these guys if we haven't already. Because I've got more energy than all of those guys put together and more love and passion for the sport. Um, and we love what we do, and we love going into new markets with the zone and changing the sport in those countries. So, you know, this has been a great run for us, Taylor Sor- Serrano at MSG and now Canelo Bivo in Vegas, and long may it continue. Thank you so much, Eddie Hearn. Uh, good luck with everything this weekend. Appreciate it. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace